Today I'm in the Vodafone headquarter town of Newbury and you'll be able to see up there in the background is a mast, in fact a Vodafone Ericsson 5G mast. I'm now on the roof of this car park and you can see the 5G mast behind me with its massive MIMO panel and the Huawei Pentaband Passive. In fact you can also see up here the radios that are in use on this site as well, or at least some of the remote radios. So in this enclosure is an Ericsson ERS, Ericsson Radio System Remote Radio, and that carries 4G 1800 megahertz. And I can actually read that tag there. Then there are a pair of older Ericsson remote radios which carry, in the case of this left one, O2, so they're sharing networks, 3G 2100 MHz, which you can just about read from the tag there. And the right one carries the Vodafone 4G 2100 MHz. Antenna wise, on the left is the Ericsson Air 6488A massive MIMO panel for their 5G. And on the right is a Penta band Huawei panel which carries the 2G, 3G and 4G. In fact, so close are we to the base of this mast, you can actually make out the ports at the base of it. The remaining base station equipment is in here, um, but as you can see, it's, it's pretty much the same setup as on that other sector with the massive MIMO panel there, the Huawei Penta band. The RIU mounted on the mast there is an ERS again, and the RIUSs are there. If we just go around, you can see there's a, the third sector over there with very much the same configuration. In Newbury, we also saw a couple of other Ericsson Air 5G massive MIMO sites. These have a slightly different 4G architecture, but other than that, as far as 5G is concerned, they are very much the same. Outside of Newbury, Vodafone are going to be deploying Ericsson 5G in a number of areas in the south of England, the largest being London, but also places like Reading, Guildford, Portsmouth and so on. Essentially, if the location is Vodafone Ericsson for 2G, 3G, 4G, then it will clearly be getting Ericsson for 5G, whereas areas like Manchester, Liverpool, Birmingham, which are Huawei for 2G, 3G, 4G, will then get Huawei for 5G because of the non-standalone format of this. Thanks to the analyst Ben Wood for taking on a tour around Newbury on Friday. You can check out lots of selfies from the event on his Twitter, which is at Ben Wood. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.